Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And first of all, I would like to thank you all for making my previous shorts completely viral on what are the different certifications for IGCSE examination, which has I, I guess the views are in lakhs. And that is really a big motivation for me to now make sure that my content are very much focused to this particular uh, community and I can serve them even more. Dear times, it must have happened with you that you are, uh, you have given your examinations or your child has appeared for your school exam. You have got your report cards in your hand and you are wondering that, oh yes, my child has scored like 75%. Now what would be the calculation or conversion with respect to IGCSE grade or what can I expect him or her to score? in IGCSC examination. So uh, in this particular video, I'm going to decode this grading system of IGCSE. Before we move ahead with the video, I would request you to, if do not forget to hit that subscribe button below. And there are various steps that IGCSC follows with respect to grading your child and they are divided into basically five steps. So step number one is your raw marks. What are your raw marks? Now, whatever you have scored in your paper. For example, if you're writing your English paper, whatever your scores are, let's say you've got 70 marks. Those actual marks are called as raw marks, you know. Uh, after the examiner correct your papers and your raw marks are ready, uh, then there is some adjustment done if required considering the benefit of doubt. Now, many a times it happens that uh, there is an ambiguity in terms of mark scheme also because if you consider English paper, it is pretty... Uh, subjective and even the examiner's uh, marking system can vary from examiner to examiner. So uh, to adjust that part, there is a small adjustment done by IGCSE board. Uh, so after that, <coughs> your final score, whatever is your final score is multiplied by the weighing factor. Now every component in a subject has some weighing factor. That weighing factor could be 1, means your score multiplied by 1, your score multiplied by 1.5, your score multiplied by 1.8, depending upon the weighing factors decided by the Cambridge Assessment Curriculum. Now these weighing factors, where do we get it? You for now, I have linked it in my description. Don't forget to check it out. You will get to know what are the weighing factors for different components in different subjects. Once your adjusted mark, is multiplied by the weighing factor you get your final score whatever is your final marks for that particular component after that then the syllabus total is done so for example what is your total score in english what is your total score whichever subject you have chosen and that score is then adjusted and then converted to syllabus grade now for conversion of syllabus score to syllabus grade is again a specific rule that igcse follows which keeps on modifying and adjusting year by year. I hope you are now clear about how IGCSE grades are calculated. That's all for today's video.